Hello, wonderful people. Thank you so much for tuning in for another practice. This class is going to be slightly different as we are practicing just our Surya Namaskars. It's very likely that you have done at least one sun salutation in your yoga practice, uh, whether that's the variation A, variation B, or whether that's something else. Now, these sun salutations are a great way to just learn a really simple sequence that we can repeat to warm up the body, warm up the breath, connect the two together, and find focus and concentration. Uh, traditionally, sun salutations are done at sunrise, inviting the sun into the day. We face eastwards, uh, and that's just to invite growth, invite warmth uh, into our day. I thought I'd give a little bit of yoga mythology before we get into our practice. I always find it really interesting knowing kind of the backstory of different asanas and or sequences. Um, I have this book here called Yoga Mythology 64 Asanas and Their Stories. Highly recommend if you wanted to learn more about backstories about asanas. And the author talks about in this book the Surya Namaskar sequence being designed by Hanuman. And Hanuman is uh, a monkey that is recognized a lot within yoga philosophy. He was a very important figure. And Hanuman growing up was very curious and wanted to know more. And his mom suggested going to talk to Surya, the son. Uh, and with a little bit of persistence, he was able to uh, get, or the son, he convinced the son to let him travel with him throughout the day so he can learn from his wisdom and uh, because he can, and his knowledge because he is able to see everything uh, that is happening and with that comes a lot of wisdom. Uh, and so this, the Surya Namaskar sequence is a way to show devotion, a way to show gratitude for Surya from Hanuma. So with that, can we bring in a sense of devotion into this practice, a sense of gratitude for whatever that may be. Maybe it is the practice of yoga, maybe it's gratitude for yourself, devotion to yourself and your higher being anything that you would like to call upon today. What the class is going to look like is we're going to practice 10 Surya Namaskara A's and 10 Surya Namaskara B's. Okay, it sounds like a lot, but there are people out there who practice 108, even more Surya Namaskars almost each day. So <laughs> I think we can do that. Let's stand on up. The first kind of round we'll do, we'll go a little bit slower. I tend to teach a little bit of a modified version when I do teach Surya Namaskars, but uh, we'll practice the more kind of traditional Ashtanga version as we continue. And I apologize if I lose my count because I'm very bad at remembering things. It's not my strong suit, let's put it that way. Feet about hip width distance, set the foundation, spread the toes wide. Alternatively, you could bring your big toes together, heels slightly apart. I would encourage you to have a play with both during your practice today. Hands by your sides. See if you can turn the palms forward. This is our Tadasana pose. Let's take one big breath in, lift up tall. Exhale, ground through the feet. Slight tuck of the ribs in, not too much though. First sequence will start slow. Inhale, stick the arms high, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, fold yourself forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, hands down, step back into your plank, Shattaranga. Exhale, come down to your belly. Inhale, baby Bhujangasana, elbows tuck in. Exhale, press up onto the knees, tuck onto your toes. Ardha Mukhasranasana. We'll take about three breaths here. So hands are wide, we press through the knuckles, lifting the hips, sinking the heels down. 
Can we use our next breath in to walk towards the top of the mat? Find your foot placement of choice and then exhale, tuck the chin in, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana, shoulders back. Exhale, fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, sweep the hands up and over the head, Urdhva Hastasana. Maybe press the palms together. Exhale, Tadasana. Inhale, reach up again. We try the sequence again. Exhale, fold forward, hinging at the hips. Inhale, maybe hand sessions. Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, hands to the ground, step back. Shataranga, come halfway this time. Inhale, baby, Bhujangasana or Urdhva Mukhaswanasana. Exhale, Ardha Mukhaswanasana, downward facing dog. Three breaths. One. Two. Three. Use your next breath in, walk forward. Exhale, fold over your legs, Uttanasana. Inhale, hand sessions, shoulders in line with hips. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise, squeeze in the glutes. Exhale, Tadasana. Round three, inhale. Inviting the sun. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands down, step back, Chaturanga. Elbows tucking close. Inhale to rise. Squeeze the inner of the legs together. Exhale. Downward facing dog, three breaths. One. Two. This is not a resting pose, this is an active pose. Press through the hands. Drive the weight back with the upper body. Use your next breath in, walk to the top of the mat. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway left, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold. Tuck the chin in, inhale, Urdhva Hastasana. Feel that extension through the spine. Exhale, hands by the sides. Round four, inhale. Maybe the hands come out in front like you're bowing on your exhale. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, hands down. Option to jump back through your Chaturanga this time if you'd like. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Move in your own breath. I would highly encourage you. Three breaths here. Just notice where your drishti is, your eye gaze, your focal point. If it's darting around, can you try draw it in between the toes, in between the feet? On one point. On your next breath in, option here to jump forward. We're gonna go straight into our halfway lift. Breathe in. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, rise. Exhale. Feel that devotion as you lift. I believe this is round five. This is where the numbers start to get a bit jumbled. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands down, send it back. Your way back into your Ardha Mukhaswanasana, using your own breath. So traditionally in uh, Ashtanga Yoga, where vinya the sequences of Surya Namaskars, you go straight from a down dog, use your in-breath to go to your Ardha Uttanasana. I tend to modify just as I find it a little bit more accessible, but today we're going to try that again. So inhale, look forward, maybe jump or step into your Ardha Uttanasana. So you land the feet to look forward slightly, exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, rise, sweep the arms, exhale, I actually can't remember if this is five or if that was four. Oh, anyway, inhale, lift. Exhale. Inhale. 
exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Three breaths or just about. Perhaps try to find your ujjayi pranayama here. Constriction of the back of the throat. Use your next breath in to either walk or jump up. Aduttanasana. Exhale, fold. Rise with your in-breath. Exhale. Hands by the sides. Let's say this is round seven. One more breath. Next breath in, maybe you look forward, maybe you hop step, lift up, exhale, fall. Inhale, rise. Exhale, hands by sides. Let's say three more. It's very likely at certain points you're going to want to try and escape physically, mentally, and it's the discipline of our yoga practice to ask ourselves to keep turning up despite that. Use your next breath and travel forward. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. One. Two, three. Did I say one or two more? I can't remember. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Let's make this our last one. I literally just sent it, said it the last round. I have no idea. My memory is shocking. I need someone on the side trying to count me. Hold up big signs. Last one. Let's all finish in our Tadasana. We're transitioning into our Surya Namaskara B, which has a similar format to Surya Namaskara A. We add on a little bit towards the end, as well as adding a little bit more at the front. Let's start with maybe the feet together, if that feels comfortable for us, heels slightly apart, or of course you can keep your feet a little bit wider if you'd like. Inhale Utkatasana. Hips go back. We'll take the first round a little bit slower. Exhale. Draw the shoulders back, arms along. Inhale, hold. Exhale, fold. Tuck the chin in. Inhale. Adha Uttanasana. Exhale, your vinyasa towards downward facing dog. Let's 
three breaths. Actually, we'll just make this one one breath. Bend your legs, look forward, set the right foot in between the hands. Plant the right heel down, 45. Inhale, bit of a dress in a one. Find alignment here first. So the feet are wide. Okay, they're not in line with each other. Try to draw the left hip forward. Arms might be apart, they might be together. They might look up towards your, uh, your thumbs. Big breath in. Exhale, frame the front foot, vinyasa. So chaturanga, inhale to open, exhale, come up and back. Let's try the other side. Inhale, set the left foot forward, plant the left right heel down, lift the arms. We'll stay here for one more breath. At any point, if this is very intense in the right heel, you can lift the right heel off. Inhale, exhale, hands down, vinyasa. Three breaths. Breathe in, look forward. Ada Uttanasana. Exhale, fold. Inhale, Utkatasana. Sweep the arms down, lift the thumbs. Exhale, Tadasana. Hands by the sides. Round two. Two, dos. Inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Long spine, long legs. Exhale, hands down, your way back. We'll take it slow this time as well. Inhale, right foot forward, left heel plants, lift the arms. So keep tracking the right knee out over the toes. Square the hips off, press the outer edge of the left foot down. Inhale, find length. Exhale, hands down, right foot back, vinyasa. Other side, inhale, left foot forward, right heel plants, lift the arms. Find balance. Stay here for one more breath. Right hip forward, right leg is strong, breathe in. Exhale, hands down, vinyasa. Three breaths. Find focus in the mind. Find your trusty connection with the breath. Be active here. Inhale, way to the top of the mat. Look forward maybe. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, Utkatasana. Thumbs lift high, hips back. Exhale, hands by the sides, Tadasana. Palms face forward. Tres. Lift the arms. Inhale, Utkatasana. Hips back, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, your way back. Modify it as you need. We'll try one breath per movement now. Inhale, right foot forward, left hip back, Buddha Bajrasana one. Exhale, hands come down, step back, Chaturanga. Inhale to open, exhale to close. Inhale, left leg forward, right heel down, lift the arms, maybe the eye gaze lifts too. Exhale, hands down, step back. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Three breaths. Inhale to the top of the mat. Look forward. Shoulders back. Exhale. Uttanasana. Inhale. Lift and lengthen. Exhale. Sorry, we forgot the Utkatasana. Always forget it the second time round. Inhale, Utkatasana. Cuatro. Exhale, fold. <laughs> Inhale, halfway lift, Ada Utkatasana. Exhale, your way back. Inhale, bend the legs, right foot forward, left heel down. Open the heart space towards the sun. Exhale, hands down. 
vinyasa. Maybe it's metaphorical sun. <laughs> Inhale, left leg forward, right heel down, lift the arms. Square the right hip down. Exhale, hands down. Three breaths. If you were in New Zealand over the summer, it's winter now, you would know that there has been no sun. So absolutely metaphorical. Use your next breath in towards the top of the mat. Exhale to fold. Inhale Utkatasana, hips go back, thumbs lift. Exhale, hands by the sides. Sunk, sunko. Inhale, set the arms. Exhale, fold. Inhale, haft. Exhale, your way back. Slow it down if you need. Inhale, bend the legs, set the right foot forward, left heel down, lift the arms. Exhale. This is meant to feel uncomfortable. Inhale, left foot forward, right heel down, lift the arms. Your way back. Quite often I feel, or I see people in class brushing this. As much as you can, we want to breathe deep into our diaphragm rather than chest. If you're moving too quickly, it is a sign that this may be happening for you. Use your next breath in. Come to the top. Half lift. Adha Uttanasana. Exhale to fold. Inhale Utkatasana. Squeeze the inner of the legs together. Exhale Tadasana. Sanko. No. Seis. <laughs> Just this Sanko. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, right foot. Exhale, vinyasa. If you are out of breath, you're going too fast. Inhale, left foot. Slow it down, add a breath if you need. Exhale. I always found that warrior one Vita Bajrasana 1 transition to the ground very challenging. You do get used to it, but please feel free to add on breaths as you need to. One more deep breath. Inhale your way to the top. Exhale, fold it into yourself. Inhale Utkatasana. Exhale, hands by the sides. Say, uh, siete. Inhale. Exhale. Counting in Spanish is, I remember it more. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, your way back. And you're like, no, don't keep counting in Spanish. You'll make us actually do the number of rounds we were supposed to. I'm sorry. It's going to happen. <laughs> Someday. Inhale, right foot forward, left foot back. Exhale. Left leg. Three breaths. Reminding ourselves of that intention of devotion, the intention of gratitude, whatever that means for us in this moment. Inhale to the top of the mat. Exhale. Utkatasana. Ocho.
in your own time. I won't cue in for the last three, apart from in the down dog. One. Two. Three. Nueve. Three breaths in your own time. Maybe even close down the eyes. After your third breath, inhale, look forward. Adho Uttanasana. Exhale. This. Last one. Feel that full joy of finishing this practice. I've definitely slid down the hill. I just pull myself back a bit, so I'm sure I'm off the camera now. one <sighs> take a moment maybe hands through heart center Connecting with that intention, hands to heart. Maybe setting an intention for the rest of your day beyond off this mat. I don't know about you, but I can, I can feel my heart racing. I'm sweating a bit. <laughs> Just really simple sequence. If you don't know what to do, but you want to do something, this is a really great way of just getting in flow, moving the body, 
finding intention. I thank you so much for practicing with me. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know how you found it down below. I would love to see you again sometime soon. From me to you, thank you for letting me share the gift of yoga with you. Namaste.